I've got in studio, we told you about it at the start of the show, Mr. John Dumelo. Welcome. How are you doing? I do. How are Big you? man. Oh. Presido. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> pressure. Charlie, how has it been? Uh, it's been good. It's been great. Let's start the wearing white. Yes. What are you celebrating? Um, I'm celebrating the victory ahead of 24th August. That's when the <clears throat> NDC will be holding its parliamentary primaries. Mm. Yes. How are the grounds? <laughs> are they soft enough? Well, the grounds are very good. The grounds are soft enough. Um, mm. You know, I feel that uh, because I've been in the constituency, I also was for quite quite a while, mm. the delegates know me very well. They know what I can do, and they will definitely vote for me on the 24th. You tried to get in, you know, when the uh, by-election right. happened, and right. then you pulled, you pulled yeah. out. Yeah. Why? Well, I pulled out because at that time... Um, I wasn't able to satisfy one of the requirements okay. at that time okay. uh, because I was uh, I was assured that um, that was going to be rectified. Mm. But the day before the filing, it wasn't rectified, and okay. so I, I just pulled out and I said, you know what, let, let me just forget about it for mm. now. But uh, I think the time has come again. Okay, yeah. but it's been cleared now. Yeah, so, so everything. So, is, yeah, so you're, everything, you're yeah, competent. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what are you selling to the people of Ayaso West Wogon? Well, the truth of the, the truth of the matter is, Ayala West Wogon is made up of a lot of people. I mean, especially the youth, and I feel that they want a representation or a representative who is just like them in Parliament, and so that is what I am presenting to to to, to Ayala West Wogon. For example, I mean, you find the high end area, yes, and then you find the downtrodden yes, area. Yes. What's your plan to? Um, I I think that I am I am more or less like. In the middle, okay. I associate myself a lot with um, f those on the on the downside, mm. and I associate myself a lot with those on the high side, the elite people. Okay. But what you find interesting in Ayala Sowers is that there are a lot of slums, there mm. are a lot of people mm. in who are living in kiosks, there are a lot of people who don't have jobs, there are a lot of people who are just you know just. Um, just part of the process mm. and i feel that i'm somebody who can bridge the two because okay. if it comes to the elite part i have a good relationship with most of the elite mm. um, constituents who live in ir west okay. and of course if you come to the, the those who live in the kiosk and those who 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 are just on the downside, mm. if, I, if I may mm. put it, um, I also have a link with them because I've been working in Ayawaso West for, let's say, for the past one year. Okay. And so I, the people can relate a lot to me. Mm. Besides, I've lived in East Ligon for the last 10 years. Mm. And so people people really know me very well. In, in, in terms of your one year experience right. on the ground, right. compared to that of, for example, Delali uh, Kwesi Brimpo, right. who's been at it so many times. Yes, yes. How do you compare? How do you stand? How do you think you're going to well, well, for him, he's, um, he's, well, he's not contesting again. Okay. You know, he's not, mm -hmm. he's not contesting it. But I think he's done marvelously well in the constituency since 2012. I mean, when he lost uh, the primaries and in 2016, mm -hmm. he was the parliamentary candidate. The by-election, he was the parliamentary mm -hmm. candidate as well. So he, he obviously holds a lot of influence in Ayala okay. West. And he's done his work. I mean, he's experienced. Mm -hmm. And so I'm tapping in his experience to okay. be able to leverage on that and propel my mm. parliamentary ambitions Your forward. Your constituency is a very hot bed. Yes. Very, very hot. Very hot. We saw yeah, what hottest. happened there. <laughs> <laughs> are you battle ready? Let me put it that way. Because it's a very hot place. We are. We are battle ready. Mm. I mean, the NDC is battle ready for for victory in Ayala. for boot? Well, boot for boot. I mean, Chaluote well, for Chaluote. For Chaluote. <laughs> everything, everything. But I feel that we've been able to identify what the problems were, mm. what the problems are. And we've, we've, we've channeled or we've listed the solutions mm. and that is what we use to win Ayawa Suez. I always say that Ayawa Suez Wagon is is an NDC seat. Okay. But because of one of two things, we are not able to win it. I mm. mean, in 2018, in 2008, we could have won it. Okay. Uh, 2012, we lost it by mm. 1,006 votes. Mm. It's just 2016 by that we lost it by 10,000 okay. votes. And so, if you look at the mathematics, we can win Ayawa Suez. It's an NDC seat. Mm. And if we do certain things right, it's a winnable seat. For example, people say that uh, that could be why you went to Legon to share stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is there any truth to that? Look, Legon Campus is part of IRS West. Okay. And if you look at Legon Campus, you have the, the total population, let's say 30,000, 35,000 mm -hmm. plus. Mm -hmm. And so you have, once you enter Legon, you know that you are going to see or mingle with over, let's say, 20,000 people. Right. And so that is a single concentration of people at a particular time. Mm. And so Lego campus is very is very Lego campus is very crucial 
to NDC's victory. Mm. And so, yes, I've started, I started working on Legon Campus, uh, let's say a couple of months ago, let's okay. say beginning of this year, mm. to be able to attract the students, to be able to let the students know that there's somebody coming who is just like them, okay. there's somebody coming who can relate to them, mm. and there's somebody coming who can, you know, tell their story. Okay. And so that is, well, in a nutshell, yes, that's why you can say that, yes, I, I started and, to and, and you didn't choose the men, you chose to visit them. Oh! <laughs> Gross and predatory. No, no, no. no. And I mean, he came I, up. No, the truth of the matter is, I mean, most of the you time... You went to Water Hall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the truth of the matter is that, uh, you know, Legon Campus, once I enter there, I deal with, I mingle with both men and women. Okay. I mean, I, I had breakfast with the Volta Hall ladies. Okay. Um, I had a kinky pa party with the Commonwealth Hall. Why, boys. why? Why the difference? No, I mean, I also went to Commonwealth Hall. Yeah. yeah. I know, but yeah. I'm asking, why tea for Volta and No! <laughs> <laughs> because that's what they requested. Okay. I mean, I mean the, the whole purpose was to mingle with the students okay. and the, the the response was massive mm. the response was great and um, I feel that look for the first time NDC can win I also West work on if I'm elected as the candidate you, you sound very confident about you being able to clinch victory for them but let's talk about the disconnect for example the Legon campus would make the decision largely for the uh, the poll at the polls but the people on the other side who are the real beneficiaries of your work? Because Legon campus students will vacate and go home at some point. Yeah. But the residents will be there. Yeah. What's your plan for them? I'm, I'm you mean those outside Legon campus? Exactly. Look, I mean, if you, look, if you take a whole look at the consequences, NDC wins in most of the electoral areas. Okay. East Legon, um, Joel is normally 50-50. I believe mm. we win it. Um, West Legon is normally 50-50. Um, Roman Ridge Airport, mm. we win all these mm. areas. Mm. And so the attention is not really on Legon campus. Okay. But the truth of the matter is that once we win Legon campus and we win in our other strongholds okay. and we even win in other parts of uh, the places where, where it's 50-50, I mean, we'll definitely... What definitely do you think is through. John Dumelo bringing into Parliament? I mean, are we going to see, uh, you know, people with popularity, as we've seen in the past, get into Parliament and we don't hear them speak, we don't hear them talk about anything, they are there... They just joined the chorus, yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel that people with popularity, it doesn't matter if you have popularity or not. Can you do the job? Yes. Okay. Can you not do the job? No. I mean, but if you have popularity, the onus, the onus lies on you to deliver. Okay. That's the truth of the matter. Mm. You have to deliver because if you don't deliver, all eyes are on you. So if you go to parliament and you don't speak, if you go to parliament and you're just a lame duck, if you go to parliament and you just say, yeah, yeah, no, no, people will say, ah, well, we've given you the mandate okay. to go and speak for us. Mm -hmm. You're just there. You're not doing anything. Four years, you would come back and you ask the people to vote for you and you have to be accountable. And so I don't think I'm going to go to parliament and just, just keep quiet. Mind you, most of the young MPs, when I say young, mm -hmm. most of the, the MPs in, in parliament who are young, okay. they are very vociferous. Right. They are very, they, they are... They are there, they are loud, they are, they are out, they are vocal, mm -hmm. and, and they fight for people's rights, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Look me eyeball to eyeball and give me your honest opinion about this. In the bylaw, your side in Parliament called Lydia Lassan, the incumbent MP, a bloody widow. <laughs> what are your thoughts about it? I haven't heard you speak about that. What are your thoughts about uh, it? I, I think that when that happened, I decided not to comment on it. And um, I, I also feel that I would not like to comment on that, uh, that was, was it fair was it a fair comment when that happened uh, of course the people some of the people in ndc said it was fair mm -hmm. other people said it wasn't fair I'm Wh just, where I'm, do you stand i'm just neutral you can't be neutral I, i'm just neutral. the constituents are watching <laughs> no, you no, no, can't no, 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 be no, no, neutral. I'm just neutral the truth of the matter is that we are going to win the seat whether okay. you call her names or you don't call her names we are going to win the seat will i mean you, will you be doing campaign of name calling no I, I, I campaign with a clean heart, okay, and that is what will lead me to victory. Mm. I don't, I don't campaign calling people names. It's not going to add one vote to you mm. or to your whatever it is. Campaign on issues. Campaign okay. on what you are going to do for mm. the constituency, mm. not what you are calling other people names and so on and so forth. What are the people expecting mm. you to do? Do it, and that's 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 how the, it, the twenty seventeen uh, district assemblies league table put you know the district within your constituency on a very high side. You're actually number one. The only thing that uh, took some marks away from you was open defecation. Do you have a plan for it? For open defecation? Yes. Look, when you go to Ayawa <laughs> West, the, 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 the residents who live in kiosk mm. are a lot. To be honest with you, I think there are even more than those who live in real big houses. Mm. And so that is an issue. Okay. Uh, me going around um, 
<laughs> these areas they've complained to me that look john we need public toilets okay. john we need we, you need to address sanitation okay. which is number one mm. and so number one on my list is sanitation okay number two is jobs and number okay. three is security okay because east legon uh, west legon jolu abeling bay mm. uh, airport that is like literally the most elitist mm. places mm. in ghana mm. and so if security is not tight okay it, it, then there's no point point. and so f for security yes i'm okay. going to tackle that but for sanitation is number one on my list they used to have the neighborhood watchdog committees yes. within yes. there yes what has happened to it is they, they seem to have gone asleep. no no they, they still do they okay. still do but but they are not as vibrant as they used to be i remember uh william Duopo yeah. used to lead yes, one of yes, those yes, as well yes, you know. i think because it was more of a volunteer job okay. and, and so we still need to instill that mm. level of volunteerism in the neighborhood watchdog committee mm. because the boys have to be motivated i mean you can't say that come a part of the neighborhood watchdog committee and you're not motivated we need to find what, what's your definition of motivation here it could be you know small um allowances okay. no not pay but small okay. allowances motivation i mean you, you need to motivate them you need to train them you need okay. to give them things that they'll be able to fight crime okay. i mean but if you just gather a group of boys and say okay we're neighborhood watchdog and there's a thief i mean you don't have communication gadgets mm. you don't mm. have vehicles mm. you don't have ways to disarm these thieves i mean people will just be demoralized how is your family taking your interest in in this seat well, they've always known that I love politics. Okay. They've always known that I love Ghana. Mm. They've always known that it's something that has been dear to my heart. And um, I've always told them that, yes, it is my dream that one day I would be in parliament. Okay. One day I'll serve the people. And so they've taken it cool. They've taken it, they've taken it lightly. I mean, just that some, in the beginning, they used, to be wor they used to be worried about the negative comments. Okay. And I said, look, it's part of mm. life. The negative mm. comments come and they will go. There are good comments here and there. And so do, do they get to you, the negative comments? No. They don't get no, you at all. No. Then they give. It, I mean, look, it's it's social media. Mm. Somebody can just get up and just write something, and just you just walk away with it, and then you're gone. I mean, I don't I don't get bothered by negative comments. No. As a matter of fact, it inspires me. It does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I mean, I've said it before. It inspires me. I mean, if you if you say John is incompetent or John cannot win the seat, okay, I okay. cannot win the seat. Yeah, I've heard you. Be, I've heard you, but I'm going to win the seat because at least I've tried, mm. but you haven't tried. And so that is what motivates me. Politics in this part of the world is capitally intensive. Yeah. It's capital intensive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have the financial muscle? What I tell my delegates or what I tell my constituents is that sometimes you don't necessarily have to base politics on capital or on finances. Vote for somebody who can do the job. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people come with money, you vote for them, and then that's it. And then they say oh but we gave you money to vote and mm. you voted for me but now mm. it's like um you have no right to hold me accountable mm. if you ask me now john do you have the financial muscle to be able to win the 2020 parliament i also was parliamentary mm. uh, mm. seat i'll say yes you have money yes you must be very rich money is relative mm. if i say i have money <laughs> i can have 200 ghana cities in my pocket and i can but say you don't I have use money. 200 ghana cities to run an election you can can you you can i mean how many posters are you talking about <laughs> flyers it's uh, about one-on-one -on -one motivating the boys it's uh, about one-on-one -on -one jama yes. and kinky and yes. tea party at volta hall and <laughs> <laughs> but it's one-on-one -on -one dialogue i mean if i come and i give you money and i leave but I don't leave. I don't leave you with a message. Mm. I have failed. But if I come and I give you a message, and the message sinks in, and I and I leave, and mm. I don't even give you one CD, okay, that is beneficial. What happens to your acting career if you get elected into parliament? People love your movies. People want to see the darling boy on their screens. Are you going there, to hang your there, boots? There, there are so many parliamentarians who still practice law. There are so many parliamentarians who still practice medicine, mm. and so. And so me going into parliament, of course, there'll be one or two times where I'll still offer advice um, in the acting industry. Mm. And maybe, maybe, I mean, I could just still do one or two because it's part of me. Okay. It is acting that has made me who I am. And so it will be very um, unfair to say, okay, I'm hanging my boots in mm. acting. And I mean, besides, you don't, certain, certain um, careers, you just don't hang your boots. Okay. There's always an aspect of it that follows you in life. Are you going to be in parliament forever? 
No, I don't know. As in like a Mugabe kind of no, thing? No, no, We've no. seen people no. six, seven terms. No, no, How no, many no. terms are you looking at? Well, it all depends on the, on the delegates. It all depends on the constituents. If, okay. if I'm working hard and they feel that they need to re-elect me if after every four years, they would re-elect me. But if, if they feel that, John, you're not doing well, let, let's vote you out. But then, what, 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 what plan are you getting in there? Two terms, three terms? God will decide. God will decide. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> John Dubella, that's your camera there. I'm sure Ghanaians want to hear from you quickly. Uh, your constituents. Most um, good morning to the constituents of Ayawa Sue West Wagon. I just want to say good morning to you. Um, we are coming. We are coming to get the seat. NDC is coming for the seat. Uh, let's all work together. Let's all be united, which is very important. Let's all be united and let's vote um, for somebody who's been with us. Let's vote for, for competence and let's vote for somebody who can attract the votes to the NDC. Okay, John, thank you very much. I didn't want to talk about some mini's tweets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have talked about it. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs>